Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Today we have some puzzles to solve. So, uh, yeah, we can just leave our staff over here for right now. But what we want to do is jump over here and then hit not that crystal there. That's used for, for uh, breaking the uh, the save point, the break point, whatever you want to call it, which I'm not going to be doing because it's worthless as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, I'll just hit that ID card, grab that teleportation, and then just warp around. There we go. And uh, then you drop it. And right here, you're going to want to stomp dive the switch. Um, it's going to make a bridge appear, but I've already done that because I'm re-recording this because there was a recording issue, which really kind of pisses me off. So anyway, just come on down here. And uh, while we're going down the stairway, I want to talk about Legend of Legacy. That's coming out just like... I think on Tuesday, uh, whenever this video will finally go up, I, for one, will be getting it. It seems like a really cool game. Um, I know that the Japanese have some issues with it, and they are going to rebalance it for, like, a, uh, a Western or an American European audience. Um, so, I am looking forward to great things about that. That crystal touched if you want to fight an optional boss, we're not going to bother with it. And then just head down, woo! This Keep on moving. That was more miseries. Those miseries are kind of nice. I've really got a sigh. Check Excel mode. I see some stuff down here. Let me just wait and uh, get my Excel mode back up. So then I can try it again. Ooh, nice. Lots of cool stuff here. Sweet. Awesome. Ooh. Eh, I did good enough. <laughs> that's, that, that's all I can do is good enough. Here we are! This is the underground hangar for the aircraft! It even comes with a launch catapult that we can use! They must have been planning on using these themselves. It looks like they've been carefully maintained. Then we could... Yeah, these machines are the Le Bourget 3330s. They're famous craft from the final days of the war, and the same type my father flew. Sure, it boasts top-of-the-line specs, but more importantly, it's a four-seater. It's perfect for us. Let's get going, Arno. Yeah, they could shut this facility down at any moment. We can't afford to waste any time. Yuli, could you tighten my harness? <laughs> I'm sure she can tighten his harness. Sure! Who would have thought my first flight would be this chaotic? I should have had Dad teach me a bit more thoroughly. Of course, a little chaos would mean a good kick in the pants. Otherwise, I may never get started. Unlike this kid, of course. Huh? Did you say something I knew? No, nope, nothing at all! Now then, listen up guys, everything's ready to go. Our aerial tour can begin whenever you're ready. There's gonna be a big shock right as we take off, so make sure you're ready for it. I learned to fly so that I could go see my mom in heaven. Thinking back on it now, that was pretty silly. Anyway, I'll give it my best shot. Dad, I hope you're watching over us. All right? All right, this is it. Here we come! Aha. Uh -huh. The last remaining hope for the future. Let's see if you can fly above this headwind.
risked it all to protect the future of our world and the people who live in it? Damn you, Lambda! Answer me! How the hell's he gonna hear you? <laughs> you have to listen to me! I won't let you destroy what you sought to protect! Even if I have to turn my guns against you! What, an 11th missile? going on to surpass those who have come before them I've done all that I can now it's all up to you to go further go now the future of the world is in your hands children gone! well he's gone for good Someday, I can be half the man that he was. But what can I do? Jude, Gon didn't sacrifice himself so that we'd turn around and dwell on the past, right? <gasps> You're right. Now's not the time for looking back. Our journey still lies ahead. This place is kind of spooky. It doesn't feel like anyone, or anything really, is alive here. And the smoke! What the heck's going on in there? I can sense something stirring deep within the island. Something like an ominous resonance. It's expanding with each passing moment, as if it wants to envelop all of Kogaya. This terrible resonance must belong to the Divine Weapon. Jude, if we don't stop it quickly... Okay, yeah, so we can't leave. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. This is the, uh, the final dungeon, and you're just kind of stuck here. <laughs> um, but, um, before we finish this episode, we'll find a way off this island. It'll take a little bit, but, eh, we'll find a way. So that, that, uh, that scene that we saw with Gon sacrificing himself, I mean, I guess it was supposed to make you feel bad for him or whatever, but it was just... So ridiculous. I mean, he punched a missile for God's sake. It's just so... Just... Ridiculous. You know, you can't help but just kind of laugh at it. What is that? A wild arm? A wild Pokemon appears! <laughs> I can sense its uncontrolled emanations from all across the entire island. You can sense that? Yes. And from deep within the island, an even stronger emanation. Is that where Lambda is? Never mind where he is. I'm more worried about what he's trying to do with the Divine Weapon. Huh. Well, uh, let's see what we got over here. Can I examine this? If this what's controlling the system, then... I applaud your success. 
You've managed to disarm Ilsville defense system. Now, this island is vulnerable. If you leave, Bungir cannot attack you. But that's assuming I would let you go, of course. Lambda's trying to bring about a new future to this world, so I can't let you interfere. A new future for this world? Yumi wants the same thing as Mom? Human beings are too weak to live in the desolation that is Felgaia. In their current state, they'll never be able to create a decent future. People must evolve and become stronger for the sake of a better future. Do you understand? No! I don't understand! What the heck does that have to do with any of this? You don't understand? That's too bad. Then I suppose you wouldn't... You also wouldn't understand the significance of Lambda choosing to be the villain for the greater good. And we're gonna fight Farmel! If you should draw your sword against Lambda, then I shall have no choice but to take up my shield. For I am also known as Asgard, the Citadel of the Gods, the final and absolute wall which protects the future. Okay. This is way past just playing with fire. Ooh, darkness dance. Do not attack her when she's in darkness dance. She will do 10,000 damage to you and you will be screwed. So, yeah, just kind of leave her alone. But I will use the opportunity to use a Gala card against her. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah, just have him stay here. It's fine. And now I want to have her replace Farmel. Perfect. To move her over there. Now she's in barrier stance, so she is vulnerable. I want to move him over here. Uh, let's see. With barrier stance, she is uh, weak to attacks, but not magic. She kind of switches between weak to attack, weak versus magic. So she's weak to attack. So I'm going to go ahead and attack her. Why not? Oh, come on. There we go. Bam! And I want to move Yuli out of harm's way. I'll stick her in this hex as well. Maybe she could use um, a material or something like that. Now she's in darkness stance. Do not want to mess with her in darkness stance. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with her because she will kill you. This is way past just playing with fire. Still, will kill you. So I will. Hmm, she's been fragiled. Uh. There's really no need to really do anything else, so I'll just reinforce the Hex. Why not? She's actually very, very easy, and if you're wondering where Asgard comes from, that is um, the name of the Golem from Wild Arms 1. Now, right now, she is weak to... Oh, I can quicken us. That would be nice. She is weak to attacks, so I'm not going to worry about her. Good. Keep on attacking, Jude. Very nice. Still can't do anything, so I'll just have you defend. Oh, let me check her out. Yeah. No weaknesses or anything like that. I can do it. Man, Jude's just gonna kill her, like, right out. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I have to recharge. Oh, that sucks. I'll use the Phantom Line. Why not? Nice. Could a Material kill her? It would be so nice to kill her with a Material or something. Um, I'll use a Rising Strike. Why not? Something to give Yuli some extra, some extra experience. I can't nice. Children got the better of me. E Z. Ooh. Nice. I won't let you pass me, or to carry out your convictions. As Asgard, the Citadel of the Gods, I shall repel your every action. I know you'll counter, but I won't just take it. I'll counter your counter! And I'll send that back as well. Then, I'll counter that too! Huh. Do you seriously intend on trying to get past me? If I wasn't serious, I wouldn't be here, facing you head on. Alright, then I guess I'll permit you to touch me. But in exchange for letting you do so, I'm going to snap your bones with my ultimate counter. If you're not afraid, step forward and accept my embrace.
You teamed up to block my triple counter, but you didn't even signal one another. How did... Human beings are weak, so they learn to work together. That's how they become strong. BAM, BITCH! You and your camel toe is gone! You flew straight at me without any fear. How were you able to do that? If you hesitated even a little, no amount of cooperation would have been enough to break my counter. I was scared and nervous, but I knew that cowering in fear wouldn't accomplish anything, so I furred my resolve and made my move. You thought it would just rush out? Things would somehow work out? Only a child could have kind of, that kind of confidence. Confidence, maybe so. But it wasn't just believing in myself. My confidence comes from, from believing in my friends. I trusted them to help me. So that's why you're so strong. Tell me about Lambda. What's he trying to do for the future of the world? Ask him yourself. Once you learn about his intentions, you can decide what to do next. What are you doing? The contamination from the wild arm is spreading. This area won't be safe for long. Thanks. But we'll search for our own answers. Because after all, that's our future. Okay, well with Farmel dead... Let's talk to her real quick. You should ask land. Yeah, we already know about that. Okay, we should already said that. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for your trust in us. Yeah, now that uh, this bitch is gone, she's put away, we can leave Illsville Prison, and we can go explore the world. We have free reign of the world now that the missile defense system is gone, and at this point, we can level up, go fight optional bosses, um, play those stupid media games that I really can't stand, that ROM challenge game, extra challenge, whatever it's called. Um, fight all those op optional bosses that we've seen, kind of just strewn about the lands. Um, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. Okay, travel instantly to faraway places. Very nice. So we can go wherever we want. Oh, we just kind of warp there. That's kind of fun. Okay, so uh, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4, I am going to go level up off screen, uh, do all sorts of stuff like that, and I will see you guys then. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.